What's up guys, Norquiza here and I'm back with another video. This time I'm doing alternate helmets for all 32 NFL teams. The little quirk in this video is that they are 3D helmets. What I mean by 3D is not the helmets themselves because obviously you perceive those as three-dimensional objects, but the logos um, are three-dimensional so they have a little bit of depth. Also, I included textures on the helmets themselves as if they were molded with the texture or something like that. Both of these things are probably unrealistic. I don't know if they would make sense for safety to do these and like the expense there would be and all that. And some of the finishes and things are a little unrealistic in this video, but I just thought it'd be a cool concept to look at and a cool video to make. So normally my stuff is made using mockups from my store, templatefc.com, and there's actually a new football template there if you guys wanna create your own football jerseys and uh, helmets. But I actually made these helmets, majority of them in Cinema 4D, which is where I do a lot of my 3D work. For all of these helmets, I had created two renders in Cinema 4D. I did the base helmet with any textures or anything on them to get the 3D texture and lighting correct. And then I also created the 3D logo in Cinema 4D. And those would be two separate renders and I would take them to Photoshop and use uh, the side template, put them together in there and created the final product and then cleaned it up with some Photoshop. So that's how I went about making them. You can kind of create them the same way in just Photoshop with just the mock-up templates, uh, but I wanted it to be very detailed and I had very specific things I wanted to recreate, which was a lot easier to do in a 3D program. By the way, I'm gonna be posting all the PSD files for all 32 helmets on my Patreon at the $5 tier member. So if you wanna go ahead and mess around with these helmet designs and maybe create your own from my renders, you can do that there and you would also be supporting me, which I would greatly appreciate. But anyway, let me just get to showing you the helmets. So the first team up is the 49ers, which they just played in the conference championship game, kind of riding on a high, little unlucky, lost to my Eagles, go birds. I went for all gold with red holsters because I think the red and gold combo is so good that you don't have to really mix in any other colors there. They have the gray face mask currently, which I think is a little boring. It looks fine, but I think this like flashy gold finish is really nice. I also included a metallic texture there and the overall reflection is very strong, something like a Notre Dame helmet, but I really like how this pops and stands out and would still fit in with all their current jerseys. I'm not a huge fan of the Bears orange helmet that they have this year, so I decided to stick with the Navy helmet because I think it looks better but I did go with an orange face mask here along with like the uh, orange holsters and the back of the helmets orange which you'll see throughout this video I think all NFL helmets have white straps and the front and back bits have uh, are also white but in college they use any color so I was going college rules and just using whatever colors I wanted for any parts of the helmet and as you can see just the navy and orange combo looks really nice it still has like a classy feel that I think fits with the bears like historic image but I think adding in some more orange uh, looks pretty great and I think this would look better with their orange jersey than the orange helmet the Bengals have a great helmet selection as it stands currently with their normal orange helmet and then the white alternate both look great so i thought i would do the reverse of the home and go all black with the orange stripes which i think would look good in their all black look now i added some textures here to different bits so the whole helmet is mainly a matte black helmet which i think looks awesome and then the tiger stripes the orange parts have a little bit of a um, a fur texture going on and um, i maybe should have gone for a more reflective finish on those parts i don't know i think just that little bit of texture adds enough and it looks interesting and would be a nice switch up a lot of my inspiration for these helmets comes from madden and this is one where uh on madden whenever i play with or against the bills i always switch them to the red helmet because i think it really really looks awesome and it should be a part of their normal rotation the white helmet looks great but red also just pops and stands out and just adds another element to their uniform so for mine here i went for a pretty reflective finish on both the logo and the helmet so you can see the red has a nice reflective finish to it and then the blue on the logo really has a nice finish to it and overall this color balance for this whole helmet just looks a plus in my mind for the broncos helmet i went with an orange base and a navy face mask it's kind of similar to their old school helmets but also like with the modern color scheme and everything like that and i think the orange helmet works a little bit better with denver than it does chicago pretty simple just a normal gloss finish then but i really like how their logo looks with the three-dimensional effect to it i think the bronco would really stand out and pop especially because it fits the curvature of a helmet really nice there was not much to do for the browns because they don't have a logo to make three-dimensional and then their helmet is also their logo so you can't really alter 
alter it too much. I could have put like numbers or something there, but I decided to just alter the finish a little bit and add a texture to the overall helmet, which I think would be a cool thing for them to do. So you can see a little bit of a texture in there to add some interest, but other than that, it's a Browns helmet. I could have gone for a cream school look here for the Buccaneers, but I decided to keep their current color scheme and just use this helmet as an alternate to their uniforms they already have. And since they wear a lot of white at home on hot days, I thought they could go with a white helmet for an all white look. And I did add orange on the inside of the helmet, which is something you can do with these templates. But other than that, it's just the big flag logo and then the pewter on the face mask and straps. If you saw my Arizona Cardinals thread fix video where I redesigned the Cardinals uniforms, you might have seen this copper helmet that I did because uh, if you've ever seen their flag, they have a copper star in the middle and like the leading producers of copper or whatever. So copper is like an Arizona thing. I decided to take that idea from my uniforms in that video and go ahead and kind of finish that idea through with that helmet. So you can see we have a metallic finish on the copper helmet and the helmet also has that, that uh, like copper texture to it. So it has that extra interest. And then the red parts also have a metallic finish to keep that metallic look consistent throughout. It really works with the uniform I designed for them. I don't think this would fit with any current Cardinals uniforms, but you never know because it's an odd color. The Chargers have a great color scheme and I had to go with the light blue and yellow look here. As you can see, we got the nice big bolt on the side, but the cool part here is the little lightning bolts throughout the helmet. So my idea for this would be, it would be like a air sprayed kind of paint job, similar to what Navy did a few years back for the Army Navy game, but with lightning bolts throughout the helmet. And I think it kind of works here. You could make the lightning bolts a little more subtle if you wanted to, but I like how standout-ish this is. Is, and I love the reflections on the yellow that really pop. It's a very bright helmet, which I think works for LA. Chiefs don't really have any alternate helmets from their past or anything to like base a alternate helmet off of. So I decided to go with a white helmet and just kind of reverse their helmet. I did add a texture to the helmet though. The texture is a bit of a Native American pattern to add a little bit of interest to a otherwise boring white helmet, but I think it's something cool and kind of works. And I love how the Chiefs logo looks in three dimensions. I went for an all blue Colts helmet here as the alternate. Uh, they've always worn the white helmet. They do occasionally have a throwback with the blue helmet, but I decided to keep like the modern logo set up and everything like that. I did change the striping here. I went with the two stripes rather than the one because they have two stripes on most of their other uniform elements. But the interesting facet for this helmet is the finish, which I went with a metallic finish just to add a little more interest than a normal gloss, which seems like something the Colts would actually do since they're pretty safe in their uniform choices. The commander's helmet is basically their current helmet because the commanders actually inspired this video when they came out with their new helmets this year with the nice metallic finish. I really enjoyed that. I did try a yellow face mask here, but I did not like how it looks. So I kept the all red and I kind of adjusted the finish to stand out a little more, a little brighter of a red. But other than that, it's your normal Washington helmet. And then you have the 3D logo to spice it up. The Cowboys helmet was actually a lot of fun uh, working on that star to get like a cool 3D embossed look. And so I went for a bunch of layers on that star that I think I think that would look awesome in real life. But overall, the helmet, I went for white and navy with a little bit of that brighter blue included on the stripe because when the darker star reflects, uh, it kind of puts off that brighter blue. And the Cowboys use both a navy and a brighter blue, so I think it works. And then I added a texture to this helmet, which is stars. Pretty simple there, pretty self-explanatory. They stand out a little too much. I kind kind of overdid it. I would like them to be a little more subtle and I'm not sure if I really like it, but I did it and I thought I'd include it and show it anyway. For the dolphins, I wanted a kind of watery look. So I went for their aqua color and then for the reflections, I did like a distorted reflect. I don't know if you could like realistically do this. I guess it would have to just be incorporated in like a paint job, but I think it looks pretty awesome. Like these wavy reflections that I was able to create. And then the logo being like a reverse color, the dolphin being white. I'm not too pleased with that, but that was the only way I could make it work. I don't know if it would work with their uniforms, but it is fun to look at. For my Eagles, I kept it real simple. We don't really change our helmets ever, keep the wings on there. So the three dimensional wings kind of look sweet, but I went for the Kelly green look because they, those are coming back next year. I went with a nice reflective finish on this helmet. Nothing too crazy, but something that would pop and really help that Kelly green stand out even more. Otherwise it's pretty simple. All white uh, details then throughout white face masks 
face mask and things like that. The Falcon's helmet was very easy because they really need to bring back the red helmet. It'll work a lot better with their logo, which is a majority black anyway, but they wear it on a black helmet. I think the red looks a lot better. So for mine, red helmet, black face mask, looks great. Add the striping, the classic striping, which I think looks awesome. The little detail I added here was a nice feathered texture throughout the helmet. Uh, but other than that, the Falcons really need to bring this back. The Giants helmet was inspired by their retro look. The only difference between like a classic helmet and my helmet here is that I went with the NY logo instead of the Giants text. And then of course I went with a more reflective finish here, but it's a bit of a mix of like the classic Giants and like a modern designed helmet. One of the old Jaguars uniforms, I don't know, it might've been like their original uniforms or their second uniform. I, they've had a lot of uniforms for being a new team, but they had a black helmet, but when it caught the light, it would be that teal color. And I've always loved that. Their current helmet, I don't know if it still does that. It's not as strong if it does. I kept that same idea here with the teal reflecting on the black, uh, but I did it in like a Jaguar print pattern. So there is a bit of a texture to the helmet and then only the spots would reflect. Although, okay, the whole helmet reflects teal, but then the spots reflect the gold. I tried to mute the gold though, because when it stands out, it looks a little too stupid, I guess. I tried a lot of different variations of it, but I realized that I had to go a little more subtle to make it look real and somewhat good. So now the new Jets have a green helmet and a black helmet. So I have to go back to their white helmet that they previously had. And I just decided to go with their previous white helmet and then went for the brighter green. It's basically what they wore for the, their color rush uniforms. I think the 3D logo looks pretty awesome here for the Jets as well. The Lions helmet doesn't differ too much from their normal helmet, but the big feature is the metallic or metal texture throughout. I went for a brush metal specifically. And then the uh, logo here actually is one of the better 3D logos. Logos. I went kind of crazy with like the sharpness of it and I think it really pops and would actually look fantastic on a helmet. I had a few ideas for the Packers but I thought the funniest and most interesting one would be to just make it a cheese head. So I just added some cheese texture and then made the logo look really clean three-dimensionally. The Panthers currently have a silver and black helmet so I decided to add a blue helmet to the repertoire and I went for a crazy finish on this one. So I went with a CD kind of reflection. If you ever seen a CD, it has like all the colors reflecting on the bottom of it. And I did that here, but with blues. So you get a bunch of different blues that kind of mimic, not water necessarily, but kind of like water, I guess. Just adds in so many different uh, shades of blue in it that I think it's just super interesting like that. And uh, paired with like a matte black, that combo is just so like night and day that I think it works super well here. I'd love to see this in real life. I don't know how practically you get that finish, but it looks awesome. For the Patriots, I just took their classic helmet, kind of like what I did for the Giants and used their modern logo here. I think the thing that makes this helmet uh, more interesting than their classic helmet is the navy and red bolts and straps and stuff, uh, which would make the helmet look really interesting as opposed to all white, I think. But it is a fairly safe and um, simple look. The Raiders helmet is a classic. Their uniforms in general are a classic and I could have given them a black helmet but I decided to take their silver helmet and just add all black elements to it and then give it a scratch metal texture because I think that fits the Raiders name so well. It was inspired by the uh, swords on the logo too. It'd be like someone in battle or something like a knight's helmet kind of thing it probably would have worked better too if they were still in oakland but what you gonna do i really like the current rams helmet so you can see my setup for my helmet is the same i did go with a maybe a more reflective blue i don't know it's like a different kind of reflection but it's still very reflective and the little gold bolts or yellow bolts as well just add a little bit more color that i think works well for the Ravens, I went with a purple helmet. The black helmet, they've always had, but I think they're due for a switch up at some point, and I think purple's the way to go. I did include a feather texture here as well, like I did with the previous bird team that I forget which one that was, uh, but I also included gold bolts throughout here, so we get all three of their main colors. I was gonna try to figure out how to incorporate the red eye, but I figured I won't do that. Could have done the Maryland flag as well, but it's a little too chaotic, and I've seen someone else do it before, so I want it to be a little more original. I've always thought that the Saints had a lot of potential with their helmet. It seems like it's a little too reserved for being a gold helmet and I decided to add a little more of an interesting reflection to it. Kind of like a Notre Dame helmet but not as reflective I would say. It's a little more subtle but it's a little more clean I think. Overall it's like a mix between uh, Notre Dame's helmet and the Saints current helmet which is what I was going for and then all the other features are black too which I think looks awesome. For Seattle, I went back to a silver helmet and I incorporated the texture that's on their numbers and throughout the rest of their uniform. Uh, it's their own like feather texture and I incorporated that as the texture of the helmet. And then the cool thing here, I went with a reflection that's very unique 
and it's like a rainbow kind of reflection. Seattle's known for the rain. You get rainbows after rain and you see rain, uh, rainbows during rainstorms when things are wet and stuff. So if you look closely at the reflections, you can see that there's like a greens and blues mainly because that's their color scheme, but a little bit of red to top off the rainbow look. And I really like the silver and navy complement to each other. And then just a little bit of green bolts really, really fi uh, finishes out like the uh, color balance uh, because it kind of matched the eye of the logo. The Steelers was really simple. Just go with the yellow helmet here with a nice finish to it and then black elements everywhere else. I think this would work great with all their uniforms. Hopefully they bring back a yellow helmet at some point because it would work great and they've had it historically. Pretty clean design overall here though. The three-dimensional logo doesn't really impact the Steelers logo as much as other teams. All right, this Texans dome is probably the most unique in the project, I would say. I went for a navy base, all navy base, and then the reflection parts, I went with red. Now, I don't know how you could practically do this. I'm not sure if it's even possible. I think it could be possible, but I think the problem would be it would look very purple with those colors mixing. So I don't think it's really that doable, but in a digital medium, you can do whatever. So this is what I thought would be cool. The Texans have very boring uniforms otherwise. The red helmet is pretty cool that they came out with. I just thought I'd do something a little fancy and different for them here. I was pretty bummed when the Titans redid their uniforms a few years back and went with the Navy helmet. I think it looks fine, but the light blue helmet would have been way better, I think. I really like the light blue. And this color balance the Titans have is very interesting with like three different main colors, two of them being different blues. I went with the uh, light blue helmet and then their stripe, kind of like they have on their shoulders um, across the top. And then navy elements throughout with a little bit of red bolts to bring in a little more red. My biggest gripe with the Vikings helmet is the use of black on it, since they don't really use black anywhere else throughout their uniforms. I think a gray face mask or maybe even a purple one would work better. I went with gray in the form of chrome here uh, to just be a little fancier. I went with a nice texture on it that's like Viking symbols and I, I guess it's like letters, their language, I don't really know. Uh, but it's very subtle so you wouldn't pick up on it. You can see the difference between like the Cowboys where I went a little too heavy and this is a lot more subtler that you'd like see it up close. And the 3D horn looks kind of cool. But that's the video guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna see the full project, you can click the Behance link down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel for more. Also, if you wanna create your own helmets in Photoshop, be sure to check out templatefc.com. Link for that will also be down below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and thank you guys for watching. Peace.